Hello everyone, Abdul Muksit here with a new tutorial on Croco Block Jet Engine. Today we will discuss how you can import or how you can display Google Sheet records or listing from Google Sheet in your WordPress website using Query Builder and REST API. So let's start. Alright, so today I was reading a very nice study from Elvis it was shared in dynamic WordPress and he created uh, this JSON format REST API endpoint with the help of uh, chat GPT so uh, they use it with the builders it's also a builder website builder for WordPress but we will try it with chat engine step number one is we will create a sheet in Excel so let's create a sheet like name email designation that's it okay All right, so we have these three records with the headers and let's name it REST API sheet. Step number two is I will paste the link for the code in description. You can copy from Git and this is the code. You have to copy the code. Go to Google Sheet and click on extension app scripts. What this script actually does is convert your Google Sheet data to a JSON format. Remove everything and paste it here and click on deploy. If you don't have deploy, you can click on new deploy, deploy. click on new deploy. Click here, web app, name it anything. And let's make it for anyone. You can change the security as per your requirement click on deploy let's authorize access Alright, the deployment is completed and it will give you a core a URL. Just click on the URL. It will give you all the data in JSON format. It, this is actually the endpoint of your REST API. So I will copy the link and let's go to Jet Engine. And here in Jet Engine, go to REST API endpoint and I will create a new endpoint. Let's call it Sheet API. And let's paste the link and you don't need to touch anything let's send a request it is connected click on save let's go back to query builder add new let's name it rest API Google sheet and query type we will choose rest API and let's enable our result an endpoint we need to choose sheet api we expect three result okay so name email and designation add query okay so it is already added now at this point you can create listings or you can create a table it's totally up to you but i prefer table let's go to table builder add new Let's name it Google Google Sheet API table. And query I will choose REST API Google Sheet. Let's fetch data. Data is successful. Let's create columns. Column number one is name. Get data from raw value, fetch column, name. 
and column name is email draw value fetch column email and the last one is position i guess position draw value fetch column designation let's display our data so we got three records and let's change the styling left left and left preview the data so the titles are left align create table so our table is created let's go to pages now you can display it anywhere you want and let's create a new page google sheet data and publish let's edit with elementor i will hide the title of the page and let's have a heading for example employee of the month you can use this technique for your client if they are comfortable with google sheet and cannot update wordpress they can use the sheet and the data will be synchronized let's fetch a dynamic table and here we will choose google sheet api table and we got our data let's click on update let's display the result so we have all the data here now let's update the data so here i will add another record abc at yahoo.com and he is uh, accountant for example okay now it is saving the data the data is saved let's refresh and we got the data okay so it is updating real time now let's do a uh, experiment i will add image field here maybe you need image and in, in future you want to create listings from google sheet so you can have images also i will go to this website mjor.com and i will copy some images from here make sure that the the url end with .jpg okay so if we check here it end with .jpg let's insert here and let's go back and get some static images all right all of them are videos this one copy image address and i will paste it here last picture copy image address and i'll paste it here this one copy image and i will paste it here okay now let's check our api endpoint so we have image also here okay now i want to display this image in our table it can be displayed in listing also but i will try in table so let's go back and we will refetch the data in table builder refetch the data now let's see we expect an extra column here fetch column image okay we got image and let's display the result we will get a url click on customize column output and here you can use percent s for representation of the column raw data okay so what i will do img src equal to this one and i will close img and let's have style of 
let's say width of 100 pixels okay let's display the data so we got images also update the table and refresh our website and we got the images also okay so this way you can play around with excel data and display it directly in your website now some of the member might ask how can we update this data from wordpress to excel sheet you can use zapier for that purpose or you can also use hooks there are hooks also available this data can be displayed in listing also as well as in table if you want to extend the functionality of the table i have uh, some videos in my channel you can add filtration here and you can add import export button also if you have any question please i ask in the comments thank you so much